top of the move. Started at the bottom, dreamt of a Hellcat. Now I got it. Dreamt of a Corvette. Now I got it. Taking big leaps of faith, no doubts about it. Made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Every time she see me, nigga, she just cracks a smile. I made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Episode 28, Have No Fear. Top of the Move Podcast is here.com. <laughs> Sound like Young Seal. Oh, okay. look like him too. You do type. Look yeah, like you him. do. No, you do. So <laughs> he had got there one of the finest women ever. You know what I'm saying? What was her name again? I don't know. One of good white Nicole Kidman. One of them. What Nicole Kidman? <laughs> Heidi <laughs> Klum or something? Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Come yeah. on now. Yeah, you saw. <laughs> What's that song? That that Batman song was hard too. Yeah. What was that song? <laughs> The Batman one. That joke was know. tough. You I know never, what's I never that really song, DC? Like you that, know, you was, you was singing. What's that Seal song that he had, that Batman song? <laughs> on the rose, on the grave, on the rose, something like that. The rose, something. I never really rock with Seal, Hey, man, that's that that one you. of the one song, man. <laughs> Midnight on the rose, Let's leave the singing to, uh, to Seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, brother. Yeah, you, hey, you, man. You got that one high note, but you track it out anywhere past that. It's dead. It's too much torch. It's torch. Yeah, on the rose, on the grave. That one on the intro, you got that one, brother. I got that. I've been doing it for five years. Anything brother. past that, though, shot. I can get. I can work it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 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 what was they doing? Ray J. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who else is up there? What about that thing? Uh, President, President P. He was singing that one, one wish, wasn't he? I'm fucking with Ray J, though. One wish, one wish. And he be on his business. One wish, one wish, one wish. Shout out to Ray Man, J. Man, I don't Ray J. He was staring at my girl one time. I remember that. I don't forget that, boy. You standing as your girl? Yeah. For real? Remember I told you that story? No. Back in Minnesota, my girl that got there got pregnant. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, you got one of them ones. Yeah, because it's like, we was like, I ain't going to never forget. I'm going to get to the story. I'm going to ride to it. Let me take a sip oh, of the shit, goddamn potion, go. man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep it divine, man. Yeah, yeah. Top but, of yeah podcast, but, man. but before we get into that, make sure you go to Top of New Podcast uh, YouTube channel uh, clip. <sighs> if y'all don't want, if y'all ain't got time to watch the whole interview and y'all want to get a little appetizer before the main course, Top of the Move Clips on uh, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe right now. Information in the description below. Top of the Move Podcast on Instagram. Top of the Move uh, Podcast on TikTok. Just all the above, man. And make sure you watch this video from beginning to end. If you're on Spotify, make sure you give us a five-star rating on there. And uh, make sure you download everything and get with it, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, finish the... Uh, well, so what, you, what happened with Ray J in Minnesota, man? Because now I remember the story now. It came back to me, brother. So you want to talk to him about that? Yeah, fuck Ray J. Damn. I'm playing. I fuck, I fuck with him. Damn. Ooh, how to get a belt. motherfucker. Fresh squirt in the mouth. Mm, baby. <laughs> Let me taste it. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Give me you some more, baby. You just had a force. That was a forced one, brother. You nah, had, man. You that forced that one. And you almost threw up on that one. That came from the beverage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But it's good to be back, man. Episode good 28. Good to be back. Back to back to back to back to back. Man, four Giottos on all the cars. I did it back to back to back to back. The back to back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Legendary. Legendary. Come on, man. Four show rings, show. nigga. But listen up. Yeah, man. So this is back in Minnesota. You know what I mean? Um, we had this we had this club and um, I was before I was opening up at a performance with a person I was with at the time that I was cool with. He was performing, I was like his hype man, whatever. So before YouTube. Before you yeah, way. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm at the club and all that with my chick and she bad, you know what I'm saying? The one I described in the prior videos, y'all can do your Googles and all that, but she top level, no question about it, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? That caboose was something that motherfucking get you loose, man. So like and I knew it, everybody knew it. So I'm in Include Ray J, huh? We're going to figure that out. So uh, we're in the club. We're walking them over, chilling and shit. You know what I'm saying? We're in the back part where everybody that's got something going on, some people with some substance is going to be chilling back there. So we back there marinating in the glory. You know what I mean? Get up, go get me a Red Bull, walk back. My chick, go, you know what I'm saying? Get her some water, walk back. And I keep I keep seeing Reggie just looking at He looking over my way. So I'm looking on my shoulder. Like, what are you looking at? Then I see my girl standing there. And I just look at him across the room. He looking at her. He look at me. He look at her. Look at me. So I'm like, man, what this nigga on? So I'm going walk over to Bond. So I get over to Bond. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, man, I fuck with you, bro. I'm like, you fuck with me? I don't know. He's like, nah, you a cool nigga, bro. Then he look at my girl again. He look at her. He look at me. Look at her. Look at me. I fuck with you, man. I said, hey, man, that's my girl, bro. Relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, you keep on staring at her and all that. Why you got her in the club with you anyway? Yeah, yeah. Who, me? Yeah. I was young at the time, bro. I, was, oh. I'm saying, I would never do that shit like that. Okay. But yeah, it was, but it's my business I had in the club with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what was you talking about, man? Damn! <laughs> this nigga tripping around this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Lord! 
<laughs> so, but yeah, that nigga kept, he like played it off because he just kept like, look at her and look at me. Look at her, look at me, and they shake my head. I fuck with you, man. You got you Every got time a, he gonna tell you, you that. You got a good one. I said, nigga, I know I got a good one. My nigga, God damn, you just gonna keep gawking with the eyeballs? Damn. You know what I'm saying? He type violate my motherfucking greatness, bro. Yeah, he can't do too much with the gawkery. It's just, okay to look one, two, maybe three times. But he just kept staring. But Because men are gonna be men. But, but I give him his, his, uh, his props because he kept it cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah. Did, he didn't do nothing extra. He just looked and then. But you can tell he, he was wondering what it, it tastes was, like. If it was any. Yeah, for sure. He was wondering. He was wondering. Yeah, he wanted that motherfucker. Sure. But it was any chinks in my armor, he was gonna go for it. But he looking at me like uh, he looked kind of substantial. Like, oh, let me look. All right. Nah, he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause he'd have died to play with me. I <laughs> tore his ass up with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with Ray J now? Yeah, I fuck with him. Yeah. I'm just saying that that was nigga about 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you so stupid. You know what I'm saying? He was in his little one wish way, so he had a little wave at that time too. Uh, nigga, so yeah. I had to really poke up the the porcupines, <laughs> the porcupine quills. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Ruffle some feathers. Yeah, yeah nigga I had to really. <laughs> Stand taller than what you appear. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Uh, uh, buck the eye. Had the eyes yeah. buck. Took the glasses off. Oh, snatched the, them off. The eyes was buck. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't blinking. Look at that nigga. Hey, boy, it seemed like he took away the right message that you wanted him to get because he didn't. You know what I mean? Or look did at he? her own nigga. He wasn't successful, though. No, nah, he wasn't. Yeah. But, but he, he wanted he wanted to make eye contact with her. Yeah, he tried to. He, he was yeah, He was trying to do that. Like he, yeah. like he's. You know I mean, he tried. You know what I mean, why the niggas always trying to make eye contact though? He's trying to. God bless. Trying him. to gauge some shit. It's cool. I got him back, dog. I remember like the first one. I'm telling Ben, fucking it. One, the, the first winner, like uh -oh. a flavor of love. You know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's Ray J love, whatever, I was sauteing that, nigga. How about that, nigga? During yeah. that showtime, nigga. Oh, so why he was on the show with her? You was already sauteing flambe. Damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> she knows who she is. You know three of them. Yeah, and it's crazy because she's like one of the first people to ever tell me to do music and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, she was from Minnesota, which is crazy. Oh. And she was on that show and she typed one. And she was legendary. Oh, yeah. yeah nigga. So, hey, I got you for you. Get me, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy. I got a couple stories. Like, I remember back when I was in Arizona, my homeboy named Go Get It. He played for um, M1 at the time. Mm -hmm. It was in Arizona. And I remember me and Bill, we used to always go out to the clubs. And just when I was going club crazy and I was young, just a full barbarian, like unstoppable. Like I'd take a nigga with $100 million, I'd take his bitch from the, in the club at that time. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I was on, that's four, three of them in his prime time mode, man. <laughs> One of the ones. But I'm in the club and like, my dog, like, man, I'm trying to tell you, it's like a Princess Jasmine type chick that I seen uh, Ray J with, another Ray J story. Man, he's like, damn, no, Princess Jasmine? Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? And then, like, because my man Will knew Quentin Richardson when right. he played for the, uh, for the, who he played for that time? I don't know, but it, everybody used to live in Arizona like the all season. So Christian, Quentin Richardson was out there with Brandy, and Brandy brothers Ray J, mm -hmm. and we was and he was in Phoenix, but he had a bad bitch with him at the time. Mm -hmm. And my man was like, "I'm telling you, you guys, see the girl he with man." He kept telling me and Will, "I'm like, man, well, you, you, you gotta be that bad." And you keep talking about me, I'm like, well, you keep telling me, nigga. So yeah. we had the club one night. Quentin Richard come in, we talked to him, boo boo. Brandy come in, I'm like, damn, that's Brandy. Talked to her, boo boo. Ray J come in, a bitch with some glasses, with like a little hoodie on, black hair, fine. I'm like, damn, she is fine. She had some leather tight pants on, caboose looking like shh. Sh sh <laughs> I'm like, damn, this motherfucker do look different. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just like, damn, I, but she wasn't really nobody I know at the time. Come to find out, I know who that was that whole cool. time. The most Kim Kardashian. Oh, for real? Yeah, I didn't even oh, know. That's that. crazy. So that was her the whole time, like nigga, and I was like, damn. Okay. Just a little fun fact for y'all right here with uh talking about the Kim K. You know, Kim K then came up to where we used to work at all the time. Yep. Shout out to Chris Humphreys. Because Chris Humphreys, yeah. Minnesota native. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. Uh yeah, but um he used to bring her to the gym with him. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I remember that's to be funny too when she used to come to the gym and uh we working at 40. I remember my dog Will, he was working with us too at the time. He was like, that's the day he realized he had to quit. He couldn't be no regular nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we in there working job, working camps and all that, sweating, playing with kids. This nigga comes strolling in with Kim K, honey, all the mess. He said, nigga, I ain't where I ain't can do no regular job. <laughs> This shit embarrassing. <laughs> I, I was like, damn, you're right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't quit for another seven, eight years, but I understood what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit was groundbreaking. But yeah, yeah. remember when I was playing two on two? Uh, it was uh, it was uh, who was playing on my team when when I played against Chris Humphries? Remember we was playing there? We ended up on the two hands on him and all that. Remember that? I don't know. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know Chris do. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to you, Chris Humphries. You remember? Yeah, yeah. You know I remember. I, I always had them good memories. Who put them niggas when I first got me, there. man. Dunked on him. Come on, man. Thrash it to kill them niggas. Like when I first moved to Minnesota, we used to train and go play with the Timberwolves. 
It was like all the mother, all the yeah, I mean, niggas killed I, I, I mean, on some real shit, bro, you take away our injury, we some league niggas, bro. Oh, some no real question. shit. We no some question. real league niggas, It ain't man. even no, you know no thoughts saying? about it. Like, I, even when I said play, play. I didn't play with, come on, bro. Yeah. I didn't play with the best, brother. Yeah. I didn't play at the highest levels. I did it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Simple. Keep it real with you, brother. Ain't no difference between me and them. You know what I'm saying? The only difference was is it blew out that knee. You right, know nigga. I was a that kid. was a game changer, though. Yeah, I remember I still <laughs> playing them little leagues and all that, nigga. I'm older than everybody and right. average the most points, most rebounds. I was killing with two Keep bad going. knees. Keep yeah, going. everything fly, bad, nigga. Bad, all bad the dunks, neck, all the threes, disc, still all the winning. Yeah, all that still killing, nigga. Like these <laughs> niggas training every day. I'm way older than everybody by far. Still slaughtered. Like on, yeah. I'm like I'm at twenty percent. They're like, man, you the coldest nigga. I'm, like, I'm at twenty percent, bro. Y'all yeah. niggas have no clue. Yeah, like sure. you know what I'm saying. And when y'all met me I, at Minnesota time, nigga, I'm ten years retired with two yeah, bad yeah. knees. Y'all ain't have no clue who I was, bro. Nah. Still better than all of them. Yeah. <laughs> For real, nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, but oh, it's, it's uh, to, to, with the Minnesota touching on, you know what I'm saying? There's some, uh, there's a lot of legendariness that came out of Minnesota. Minnesota's you know what I'm saying? Local. Whether it was produced there or raised there, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It don't matter, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, because last time I actually seen Chris, I was with uh, PJ. Shout out to my nigga PJ. The real, the real organ nation, real G Squad. Y'all gonna remember PJ Hill, man. Shout out to PJ Hilarious, Hill, man. man. Professor but, uh, PJ, man. Yeah. Pastor PJ, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Go P. Governor PJ. Pastor P. Pastor P. <laughs> definitely politician, though, now. Oh, it's like yeah, he yeah. in the mix. Boy, ain't nothing funnier than his wife, though, when she be talking about. Oh, man, Mandy. Mandy. Shout out to Mandy. Yeah, you going too dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mandy, man. You know, they actually about to have a second kid, too. Congratulations. Or third, that, technically. Little you know, Mr. You President and all that. Yup, 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 yup. You see Ziggy getting busy. Ziggy going crazy. Yeah, then we gave him too much backdoor talk. Y'all know all them, so it's going hard for y'all to keep up. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, last time, uh, remember PJ himself, Mr. Oh, man, them breaks. Them good breaks. He tried to... Bigger was scared to death. Yeah, y'all gotta go to my show. Y'all wanna see PJ out there, man. Hey, the breaks. The breaks. It was good breaks. Amazing. <laughs> oh, he was scared. He was scared. But yeah, no, nah, me and PJ last time, uh, last time uh, before I moved to LA, it was uh, me, PJ, and uh, Chris Humphreys. It was all, you know, he got that Crispin Greens that he owns. Uh, yep, and he owns a lot of five guys and stuff. Tons of five guys, tons of Crispin Urban Greens. Too. Crispin Greens is the one that he built up from the seed, though. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He built that one up from the ground up. So uh, shout out to Chris Humphreys, man, for being on his business and being a businessman. Because even that stuff with Kim Kardashian, I ain't going to lie to you. He might not like it because he was actually for real. He wasn't playing. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And he do not like talking about it either. No, you know what I'm don't. saying? <laughs> so, so y'all know that one. You don't see him in public and say, hey, because he he's not like going to like that. You nah, know what I'm nah. saying? But uh, the thing, you said he always what? I said he was always a cool guy, yeah, but yeah, he never liked cool. that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what he kind of, you know who he remind me of? Who? Uh, shout out to my brother, Life of Jeremy Barrett, my nephew, Logan. He kind of do. He, he's yeah. like, he's like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a big Bam Bam brain. Yeah, like, it's, it's what do you mean? He's like a robot. Bam, bam. Yeah, 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 yeah he like yeah, that yeah, brain. Yeah, 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 for sure. But he's smart, though. He yeah, he's dumb. definitely smart. He's not dumb. He bought his business. You know what yep. I'm saying? And on top of that, he, like I said, he got a lot of franchises under his belt. He got a lot of business. And one of those things, whether he it went the way he wanted to or not, he still was rocking with Kim K. Married. You see what I'm saying? Married. Fully married. You know what I'm saying? Slanging lumber to her, too. Yeah, that's yeah. wild that. Them situations you be around, you don't realize where you're around. Because, like, yep. when my dog Rashad McKenzie at the time, he was with Chloe at the time. Yeah. So I was around that the whole yeah, time. Yeah, people don't even know you know Chloe Kardashian. Yeah, early. And they know, and she know you. Oh, for sure, man. Ain't that crazy? I'm waiting to run the tour again. <laughs> at the full capacity, three of them. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to be a sight to see. Bow out to it, huh? She always rock with me, man. She know what the three of them She watching Top of the Mook right yeah, now. She know the God. That's bro. a crazy Damn. thing, though. Y'all might see, like, the God. As, as of right now, on uh, on our YouTube Top of the Mook uh, podcast, not even the clip one, just this one right here. We just started. Make sure y'all subscribe to the clips, though. But, yeah, uh, get the clips. Oh, uh, yeah, got to. But, no, y'all might see, like, 22,000 subscribers on the Grow Up, right? But you got to understand, even when we had 22,000 subscribers on just our individual channels and all that, there's always been top level understanding with people that's been tapped in with us because how we talk, how we move, it's how different. we came into the game is just yeah. different. You know what I'm saying? So you might see 22,000, but ah, not, but you out of 22,000, I'm telling you, that's a crazy number for one. That is it's a just lot of all people. reality. Yeah. Right? But yeah. then if you add to it though, you gotta think one by one person of 22,000 people, you don't know who them one is. Cause you, you understand, yeah. I'll be if I'm watching YouTube, you never understand. Like if I'm watching somebody that got five subscribers, they might not have no idea I'm watching their videos and they might rock with me or they might rock right. with you. you Top level form. But I'm watching. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 for sure. Definitely you. You know what I'm saying? Got but you. the thing is, though, is like he did that, though, right? So yep. he did it at a high level, played in the NBA, and wasn't no bum in the league either, nothing no. like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, John Lohr, too, from Minnesota as well. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got a lot of uh, 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 Aldrich uh, yeah. that played at Kansas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Khalid Cole Aldrich. Cole Aldrich, yep. Khalid Alamine. You mm -hmm. know, he from Northside, though. For sure, so for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah
Yup, yup, yup. Uh, uh, Chet Holmgren. And uh, Suggs, too. I was just talking to him, though. Oh, uh, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, my dog T Belly, he put us, he passed us through. You know what I'm oh, saying? He fucked he fuck with a nigga, so you know what I'm saying? We've been chopping it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's dope. Yeah, 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 and he just got drafted, too. He was, what, number two? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, first round, second pick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Chet, man. He doing his thing, too. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, salute all the minutes. Uh, uh, but who just after that? Suggs. Suggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, you know, I was super cool with Terrell Suggs, my whole. Yup, yup. Can't forget Royce White either. Can't forget Royce White. Royce. Royce was that nigga though. You know what I'm saying? One of the ones. Yeah, 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 for, yeah sure. for sure. Yeah, there was a lot, lot, lot of uh, legendary motherfuckers that, that was came out there. That was in front of C2 in high school and all that, man. Because we talking about just the people that went to the league, right? right? So we get some understanding. There's a lot of motherfuckers that didn't make it to the league that's still historical. Yeah, like Mac Irv. Mac Irv. One of the ones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of other people. Steph Weeze. Steph One of the ones. Yep, yep, yep. Um, he used to give, he always talk about giving what's for calling numbers. Who's that? Uh, Don't even forget Rodney. Rodney Williams too, boy. Stupid bunnies. Yeah. from Minnesota? What? Yeah, I think so. I know he went to the University of Minnesota, but I don't know. No, yeah, he from yeah, okay. he from Minnesota, I believe so, if I ain't mistaken. Because uh, you know he went to high school with my brother. Okay, then that's, yeah, yeah, Cooper. That's, that's all he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, he from, yeah, yeah, he from Minnesota for shout sure. Shout out to Rodney Williams. Yeah, shout out sure. to Rodney Williams. He was doing his thing too. The stupid bounce. He was he was at our Minnesota Gerald Green. Yeah, he has dumb retarded. Man, it's insane if you hoop with him. He's yeah. like, how did you even catch it? You just throw that bitch anywhere in the air. He dunked it's that dunked. Yeah, it was insane. Rodney Williams had them flotation devices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh Trevor and Bakway. Trevor. And the number one, I ain't going to lie to you, and I ain't even guessing. I'm going to keep it G with you. The motherfucker, the best hooper I ever seen come out of Minnesota is my little brother, Derrick Jones. Shout I'm going to keep Derrick it G Jones. with you. That nigga, ain't nothing he couldn't do. Nigga, go between the legs, windmill, all that. My brother, like, less, he's just like 6'3", a little bit below. You know what I'm saying? And doing everything. Big body. He hoop a lot like Darren Williams. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Shout Strong, to, finish around the basket. Yeah, he cold. Uh, uh, epidestrous, could shoot with the left, shoot with the right, pull yeah. up. Derrick Fisher strong. type lefty. He with the, he won't What? Play. Strong, finish of the basket, handles on the string. Yep. B uh, bounce. Aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah. Nothing he could do. Killer Mamba mentality. Yeah, he got no I know how he got that mentality too, because I never forget when I first met him. We played. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I you know me, I talk the most shit in history. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. retarded. Yep. And um I scored on him. Boom. I'm like, man, get this nigga up out of here. Nigga, yeah. I always practice like this. You can go to school and all that. Nigga, I always play no ball. Nigga, you can't get on me. And I said it so quick. I, you know I talked shit I wasn't oh, thinking yeah, about for it. Sure. You didn't say it was me. years later. Yep. He never forgot. Like, nigga, I remember you talk crazy to me, man, on that court that one time. <laughs> I was hot at you. I'm like, this nigga's really crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I just said sure. one thing and he remembered that shit to a T. He's he was not hot. Be, he's not Ted Bunny. He's not to be played <laughs> like with, boy. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. this nigga DJ one of the ones. He got that brain. He he don't forget shit. And I was always, it's like a clip on, you ever seen that clip in, um, that's on internet when that nigga was fighting the subway just like DJ. Everybody oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knocked him straight out the door. I swear I thought that was DJ the whole time. Was it him? It looks just like him. He out there. Brother got a one hit a quitter, man. Yeah, he's oh, a no! You gotta stay my brother, professional boxer, all that. We used to take blood, gloves, all that. We used to box with gloves on, put had people put the gloves on, all that. Yeah, we did all that growing up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it, it, best hooper in my eyes. That's just me. I'm yeah. not being biased. I just, I've always been his number one supporter with that. He's a top level nigga. And then not only that, he's done it with everything else too. I was just playing that DC and Free the other day. You right. know what I'm saying? Everything a nigga does, you know him. Yeah, for sure. Historical, one of the one of the top level human beings to ever walk. One of the ones, for sure. You know everything what I'm saying? You do, man. But to back to uh, the basketball and everything coming out of Minnesota. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that we ain't mentioned. Don't feel roasted if we didn't mention you. Troy you know Bell, of course. Oh yeah, my nigga T Belly. Can't forget my nigga T Belly. See, that would have been a roast. See, yeah, but right, I, I was uh, unintentional roast though. But, that happens, but there's though. a lot of my niggas that really hoop hoop like that for real, for real. That yeah, I ain't yeah. even thinking about right now. Don't, but that was really them yeah, niggas. Don't take it you know personal. Just don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? But we just talking about motherfuckers that went to. Hill. PJ Hill, yep, there's a lot, there's a lot, bro. We could go on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? We ain't about to go down a whole tangent hour. A little yeah, we got, come on, bro, we got time and shit, you know what I'm saying? We got time restraints, you know what I'm saying? So we can't mention everybody. But the thing is, though, um, Chris Humphries is definitely one of them, uh, and that was before Ray J, to get back to the whole thing full <laughs> circle, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, with the Kim that, K shit and all exactly, that. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? So that was Funny. before then, and then come to find out, you actually seen her, and that was her. Yeah, that was wild. And then you seen her again later for the hoops. Crazy. Crazy as fuck, man. So, around the top level of in history a lot. It's just weird yeah. that, even though, like on the Chloe, whole Chloe situation, I knew she was already like somebody then when it was yeah. around, but it was, I was, you know, and I'm three of them, nigga. I'm cool. You know what I'm right. saying? But she was super cool. And just to find out how people grow, you know what I'm saying, later on in life is just dope. You know, you could be anything in this world, man. You don't, you just never know who you're going to be. You just got to work hard and believe in yourself for real and just right. keep putting it out there. 100%. Don't get stagnant. Don't be worried about other people's thoughts about you. Just do you. You, you're, it's unlimited. It's no yep. cap to your greatness, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Not like the cap these niggas talking about. I'm talking about the, the cap that is... There's no ceiling. There's
shit, I did it before that. Like, I used to wear my own clothes and all that, yeah. and I knew what it was. And I, I was okay with, you Trust know, me, he got backdated photos and videos. He's yeah, not like, lying. I was okay with, you know, subsiding from wearing other people's stuff and, and building my own brand up. Yep. That's just life, though. It's just like how you want to build yourself up. Just like building a brand, you want to build yourself up. Know who you are, stick with it, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Grow it, and then boom, you go through the process. People always want to skip the process. It's crazy. 100%. You that what have... happens. Motherfucker <laughs> hit you up out of nowhere. Like, hey, bro, I'm fuck with you, man. Can you help me? Nigga, fuck you. Who is you? Yeah, you got to have the most delusional no, belief you, in yourself, too. You and that's one to. thing. Three guys, one thing I got. We might uh, broadcast it two totally different ways, but uh, we got that undying, relentless, consistent, delusional belief in ourselves. Yeah, you know and, and it counts. Like, and that's what got me there, too. You yeah. think about it. Even when we was on, talking about smoke and shit, like, that's how I was able to even work up to even. Play at them yeah, levels you, like that. You might, because like I said before, right? You went in the prison. Mm -hmm. What was you, 18? Uh, I was, yes, yeah, 18. Yeah, I just turned 18. I was just, just about 17. Damn, that's crazy. 18. Yeah, you, you 18. There, Two months the, after I turned 18, I went to, yeah, you, I was locked and up. And you went in there. How tall were you when you went in? Oh, shit, honestly, I can't remember. But I started getting my growth spurt right before I went to prison. Right before like, you went to Like, there. right before. And you was in there for four years. Uh, yep, four years. And when you from wasn't... 2007 to 2011. When you wasn't in prison, like, when you just an uh, 18-year-old got from, the, from birth to 18, was you out here playing ball, going to street Man, ball, hooping? fuck no. You never played no, no sport. No. Uh, now, if I, if I played... There was one time I think I, in, like, elementary, like, a super early, early... But I was so fucking, nigga, I was over that shit. But you weren't like nigga a hooper. Like a no, 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 no. Nobody knew me for hooping and right, shit right, right, like right. that. No, 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 no. It was more like a situation where it was like, hey, man, uh, we need a motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, away, like that court. type of shit. But yeah, like, nigga, come on, bro. It was, it was trash, though. And I didn't like it. So it was like I wasn't fucking with it. I actually, there was this uh, kid I got into a fight, too, a bunch of times. And I remember me and, me and that nigga started squabbling right in front of school. DJ was right there. We started squabbling in front of school. Nigga, every time I seen him, it was on site. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. I'm not even bullshit you. Um, he actually turned out to be like a boxer or some shit like that, too. You know? Sure. Like, yeah, so I, I gotta I gotta give myself some glory and say I I helped him in that uh, pursuit. Was it before or after? After okay. it was before. No, it was before he became a boxer. Yeah, so I'm saying you know like saying? you used to fight yeah, him yeah, before. Yeah, so come on, brother. Yeah, that probably fueled the extra. You little, helped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His nose. Hey, hey, brother, listen. You know what I'm saying? I was getting down. Him. You know what I'm saying? But the thing was, is it was and before the get down with the pause, it was pure weapons. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we know Got that. Expelled from schools for that shit now. Big Caucasian man. <laughs> 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 no, but but the thing was though, um, from there though, you gotta think, like I never like only time I went to the gym was to help my little brother. Like if I was like robbing people, you gotta understand, like, I don't condone nobody robbing people, selling drugs, nothing like that, right? Because it did not work out well for me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it won't work out, work out well for you. It's either dead or prison, the results of these things. So whatever I'm saying next, do not glorify, right? Anybody. Um, but the thing was, is like, I would, like, if I was robbing people, hitting licks and different things like that, I would come home after doing that, then I would take DJ to the gym. My little brother, Derry Jones. You know what I'm saying? I would take yeah. him to the gym, you know what I'm saying, and uh, get him some food and different things, and then I'll take him back to the gym or come to his game. I, I ain't never missed one of his football games or basketball. So that's the only time I was around sports is when I was helping him. Okay. So I was like the, it was a, a, a Ricky and Doughboy. That's gotcha. the best thing. I'm full support of him. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm fully off. Like, nobody. Doing wild, man. Everybody's yeah. saying, like, I ain't going to be shit. Never, you know, stay I away from him. Stay away from him. His dad used to, me and his dad have conversations like this all the time. He's like, dude, hey, man, you got to stay away from Corey, man. He no good, man. <laughs> oh, him and his uncle, too. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's how he talked. Where you from? Mississippi? Hey, Mississippi, yep. Oh, he got shit. On the point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Mississippi. He's like, yeah, hey, DJ, man. You don't Damn. stay away from Corey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Say that to him all the time. It was all the time. You never wanted him hanging around me. You know That's what I'm saying? That's crazy. So that gives you an understanding. You know what I mean? You can evolve and be better and then become something in the future. Yeah, that but bomb. that's the only time I was around sports to answer your question. So, then, okay, then you go to prison and then you grow and then uh, at the end of your prison term, you realize you wanted to play basketball, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, how? let's go through that process of you from in prison not playing ball to coming out to a scholarship. So how did that even, like, transpire? Oh, uh, well, before prison, there was one thing I mentioned. There was, like, you remember, you know where Botnew Park is? I have no clue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, we, uh, there's a park, a uh, 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 team on Botnew or whatever, and DJ at that time, I was helping him um, do his basketball thing and always helping him feel do his thing. You know, he had no car, so I drive and everything like that. Right, so right. Like that. Hit the legs, ooh, mm -hmm. then pick him up, then we go bring him over there. What type you know of accessory having in the car after? But no, no, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Never. I never put my brother in the midst of the fire. You know what I'm saying? But the thing was, I always shielded him from that. And always, he, I never even had to tell him not to be like that because he was just always like that. He you know knew, what I'm saying? Yeah. He just knew. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'd be up there every now and again with my brother, you know what I'm saying, and uh, do the shit if you, know, if you want me to hoop or something. But what was your question again after that, though? I just forgot to mention that. <laughs> now I was talking about um, you going to prison and how you made that transition from not really playing to growing while you're in prison. You was in there for four years to realize that I'm tall now. I'm able to play sports when I get out. It's a way out. My little brother. He was the one that, like, he came to see me. Like, because you understand, I didn't get visits that often. You right.
right? 14, right. 15, somewhere around there. So um, he always had to come with my mom. And yeah, I didn't ever really, my mom, she'd come, shout out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, she don't like me. But she, she'd come, and then I never really wanted to see her that much be, anyway because um, she would cry. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, your mom cry make you want to, you know what I'm saying? Then you in the visit room, they say, hey, Barrett, 10 minutes and five minutes and shit like that. And yeah, quick. My mom got to go. She's going to get all emotional. Shit. I don't want to see her cry and right. see me like this. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I usually didn't want to do it. But when my brother came, like, every time they came, so there was always spurts in between, like, big t gaps when they came. So uh, DJ would come see me, like, damn, bro, you're getting fucking tall as fuck. You know what right. I'm saying? And he was like, bro, you got to try to get out and play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, damn, uh, fucking basketball. I got to go to school to play basketball. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, most I ever did, I was just talking to my mom on this on the way here. It was, what, a month or something? Like, some short change of ninth grade. That was the highest level of education I had. You know what I'm right. saying? And I don't even know how I made it out of eighth grade. You know so you got your GD in prison? I got my GD in prison. Okay. Yeah. So I got my GD in uh, 2009, February 2009. So two years after I got in there. Mm -hmm. uh, let you know, a lot of whole time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't go. the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but no, um, yeah. So I ended up, uh, my brother, he was always telling me, like, bro, you should gotta play basketball. He was like, bro, he was like, you getting tall. And I said, yeah, bro, I can't do no school, though, bro. I didn't even, I don't even go to college. I never even graduated high school. I never right. got no type of understanding with the education. And he was like, uh, you know, learn disability type too. So yeah, adds to the mix. You know oh yeah, yeah, we know. So he was like, hey, look, you should be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. So then uh, from there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was like, man, I, I ended up going to the hole. That's what happened. Right. I got into a fight and I ended up going to the hole. And uh, they maxed me out again. And then um, I was in the hole and I was in the hole for a minute. And uh, I just always thought about what he said. And I was like, damn. What the fuck? I mean, what's the worst that happened? I could fail at the shit. You know what I'm saying? But I could at least give it a try. Because, right. I mean, I don't want to keep coming back to prison. I ain't want to be like one of them niggas like get out and then they like, oh, this nigga always in and out of prison. You're right. So, okay. So, you're in prison. You're like, okay, I'm going to play. And then, like, how did you get to the college, your first college, while you're in prison to play oh, basketball? Yeah, you, you set it up because you know the story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. So, before, so this is what I did. You know what I'm saying? I had some girls that I knew when I was in prison. I had them uh, do some... Uh, Research. Oh, we know you had plenty of women in yeah, prison, bro. Come on, brother. Look. And uh, everybody got to have their hustles, man. You know what I'm saying? Boys but, in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, so I had one of them. I said, hey, look up the worst basketball um, schools. The worst schools? I need the worst JUCOs. Mm -hmm. I want the worst JUCOs mm -hmm. in history. Sure. You know what I'm saying? If they won one game, that was too much type. Oh, you know what shit. Saying? So I needed uh, just a terrible-ass program, basketball program. Because, you know, I don't hoop, bro. So I got to be able to go somewhere and play. Just you know go ahead and trick them. I'm 16. Let me on the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly like what I did. <laughs> so what I did was they, <laughs> the team was so motherfucking weak. Uh, she ended up, one of them, they sent me some, like, and I was looking at all the records. And so they, they I had them just print them out and then mail them all in. Right. So I, you got to understand how much of a due diligent person I am. I'm not the person we fuck with, right? I'm in prison. They ever hoop for all this shit. So I'm looking at all these different things. I'm going through all these papers. I'm looking at the records. And then next thing you know, this school had probably one, one or two games, literally. <laughs> right, uh, I don't even want. I don't even like them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, they're terrible. Uh, should I even mention they motherfucking? They don't even want a motherfucking to go What's your there. Story though, there ain't no. No Ramsey Community College, man. Gargoyle. I don't like them motherfuckers. I don't like the coach. I don't like the son. I still don't like them motherfuckers. Nothing about them. Yeah, nothing about them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, proved all the motherfuckers wrong. Done. Proved myself right. But anyway, it's all about. Um, that was the worst school. So then I, I applied for that school to answer your question. I applied for that school while I was in prison. So you applied for like the financial aid and go to the school while you're in prison? Everything. Wow. While I was in prison. Black man! Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> and I got accepted before I got released. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. So you feel like that? You I did it on my last year, though. That was my last year of uh, prison. So you looked up the bummiest, most embarrassing school. Yep. And you had a scheme of being a 6'10 nigga getting released from prison, never hooped, and get on the team just off the goddamn stature. Yep. Okay. So, boom, you filled out the application, got accepted. Now you released from prison. Yep. Now, how did you go from the prison going straight to the school? What did you do to get there? Whew. Okay. Well, hey, shout out to my uh, my pro officer, Blaine Myers. You know what shout I'm saying? Shout out to Blaine. Oh, yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when I, first came, when I first came home, uh, he had me, there's a thing called uh, ISR. It's called intense supervised release when you get out on parole. Right. And um, I wasn't on ISR, but he chose not to get me on ISR, but he chose to put me on a bracelet for two or three months. Or a little you know leg Yeah, okay. so I, I was like, damn, imagine getting released from prison after doing four years and then you come out on a bracelet. I ain't give a fuck. What's I up, was, Slim? Yeah, it was that. But I was happy at least to be free. <laughs> oh, but sure. I'm like, shit, you know what I'm saying? I get out of me and do some shit, though. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. slide through to my mom crib type. Yeah, right. I, I, I paroled to my mom. I'll shout out to you, my, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and that's a, that goes back to having a team, too. You know what I'm saying? Mom supported me the whole motherfucking Gotta time as far team. as so I get mail. She sent me cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was legendary. You know what I'm saying? And then 
I ain't really had to uh, depend on my mom uh, too much while I was in prison because I had my had my hustles. When you was in prison, you had like any like Miss Picky pen pal types. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I had hustled. a couple of them. I hustled. Yeah, yeah, that's a good I, hustle. Because I remember you used to tell me you used to get your little script papers and you used to bust them off to people. Oh, I got some stories with that. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another story. But yeah, that's another story for another you know day. Saying, I'm trying y'all to... drop some comments below right now. Let's y'all, y'all want to see that, I would indulge you. That nigga in was a talk. pen pal pimp, man. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, drop some comments below right now. We gotta get this pre-approved. Oh, no! We gotta get this pre-approved. Us to know about shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my wife, Jazz. <laughs> Love and Slim, go subscribe. Shout out to you, baby. <laughs> Love and Slim, definitely go subscribe. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no. So you know, I had my hustles, man. And then you know what I'm saying? I was able to actually. I had my man. I got some stories with that shit. Where I was able okay. to help my mom from the motherfucker. Oh, you know what I'm sure. saying? So yeah, so it was legendary to be in prison, and be able to help people financially. You know what I'm saying? On top um, of your shit. While in prison, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's definitely it, it real to reciprocate. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the lawyer and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? My mom sure was able to help with that. You know what I'm saying? So that was before I went in there. I, yeah, bro, it was a blessing. Shout out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, so to reciprocate and be able to help out in prison, monumental. But um, big white man. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no. But uh, anyway, from there though, it was uh, I just had her. I had saw all the shit, and then next you know, when I got out, I had that bracelet on, and then um, from there, I my I went to the parole thing with my mom, right? right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she actually came with her man's in, uh at the time, and um, he dead now. Rest in peace. You know what R.I.P. Saying? Boy. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, then he came came with my oldest brother, and then we all went. And then me and my mom, after we went there, we got some hooks. You know, everybody knows on North Side. Spectacular. Hooks, boy. The one on Broadway? No, nah, we didn't go to the one on Broadway. There was this one, it was a new one made that was just put in uh, I think it was uh by Brookdale. Okay, I know that yep, one. Yep, that one. Yep. 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 yep, yep, But that one on Broadway is the most That's the That one. was the start one. You oh, know what I'm saying? Man. For sure. <laughs> but yeah. Don't yeah. get it fucked up or Mr. Screw. <laughs> Don't you That's do that. One. That's the one. You know what I'm saying? But then um from there, me and my mom, we had to go see my pro officer within the X amount of time from the time you get released. You know what I'm saying? So we went to see Blaine. Uh, when in, dude, outright, you gotta understand, he had the highest uh, uh, rate of sending people back to prison. The recidivism rate with him, whew, you know what I'm saying? He, so he let me know right Shoosh! through. Yeah, he let me know right through a door. He was like, "Hey, I believe you're gonna go back." You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because you gotta understand, you look at my shit. I look like big white man. Mo. Oh yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah. He was like, I was like, man, you ain't gotta worry about me. He was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's what they all say. You'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he went crazy. I had a CO tell big me that right before I went to prison too. Before I left prison, I had a CO tell me that, too. Yeah. I'll see you soon, son. And yeah, I was like, man, I'm out. He started fucking with me. I said, hey, you know, you get down to about 100 days, yeah. 180 days, 90 days. Once you 18 months is shorter in prison, niggas right. in the joint start counting that shit down. Oh, nigga. really? It's like, what? You got to think 18 months is what, a year and a half? Bro, nigga, let a nigga in prison get it out of 18 months. Boy, you think you leaving in 30 days. Oh, that's a fact. Hell yeah, nigga. Because you're you know, four like... years, I got down to a year and a half. Oh, oh yeah, nigga, like, this shit. you on the back end. Yeah. I'm on the back end. Yeah, once you're on the other half. Once you break past that half, half part. Yeah, yep. you, nigga, you coasting. You coasting. That so, makes sense. So I, I had about 90 days left. Niggas, uh, CO started saying something to me. Any other time, I would have went to the hole at this point. But right. then... He you said just threw a goddamn shit bomb on his ass. Huh? Nah, I, ain't, I would you never, never do like shit. Nah, bombs, I don't know. But I got some of my niggas was on that. They would get the blood, the shit, the piss cream. feces, and throw yeah, that yeah, on the nut, yeah, that motherfucker. They be on that type of time for God. sure. Yeah, they be on that type Damn. of time. Yeah. Oh Lord! They be on that for sure. You know what I'm saying? I never did that though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hell disrespectful. Right, that's yeah. the top level. But yeah, yeah, but no. Um, before I left, I'm trying to say something to me. I was leaving the calf, the chow hall. You know what I'm saying? He say something to me. I say, man, man, I ain't worried about your motherfucker. I got 90 days, nigga. And he was like, ah, you'll be back. Uh, he tried, I tried to get the last, and he got the last laugh. He tried to roast me. And when he said it, though, I said, I'm a little fucked up. I don't know. I don't think I am, though, but fuck you. You know what I'm saying? It was a fucked up shit to say to a person. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm about to go home. Damn, y'all motherfuckers plotting on niggas to buy this, this bitch. Yeah, right. But then, no, uh, um, so Blaine, he tells me, he's like, he's like, yeah, man, you know, pretty much same shit. You know what I'm saying? And I said, and then my mom even looked at me, oh, like, my mom watching this, she knows this is true stories, all facts. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So the next thing you know, we get up out of there, and I, he put, I had to get the bracelet put on and everything. And then I asked Blaine, though, before I left, I said, hey, man, I'm trying to play this basketball shit, though. Like, can I get, like, a pass or whatever? You know, for the first amount of time, he wouldn't give me no passes. Right. And then next thing you know, he, he started giving me, like, passes where I could go out for, like, a couple hours a day, three hours or whatever, every so many days or something. And then next thing you know, from there, within that window, I went up to the school at Noka Ramsey, and then I went up there. And I went to both of the coaches I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I was going to like him. I was going to dislike him. This, this is when much. you first met him, yeah. When I first met him. So I went up to the school. I actually seen a nigga I knew from the north side. His name was Bear. And I seen him. You little bear? Not that bear. Okay. You know, there's a few different bears. Not you know what I'm bear. saying? Not bear from USC either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other bear, the north side. This is, this is more like low end. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, Street bear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then next time I seen him. 
And I'm like, oh, what's happening, nigga? And I knew him and his brother growing up. You know what I'm saying? So then I was like, he was like, I was like, man, you up here? He was like, yeah, I hoop here. He was like, and I was like, damn, I was like, and then next time he was like, uh, he was like, man, I was like, nigga, I'm, I'm approved you already. He was like, he was like, cause he was like, man, you gotta put an application. I said, no, I already did that shit. I just right. got out, nigga. I'm good. You know, he was like, nigga, what you did it? I had to break down the whole story that I'm done. Which is crazy. And I said, yeah, nigga. So you know, I got to see the coaches. He was like, oh, come on, nigga. It's, uh, Ron and Rory is a son and father and a son coach. Uh-huh. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna bring you up there then. He was already playing at the team. You was you like hooping in prison though? Yeah, I went towards Sharpen the end. Skills a little bit. Toward, towards the end. Yeah. Towards the end. You know what I'm saying? Playing because 21 or some shit. Yeah, but then every time I, I tried to refrain from it, because every time, you know. You're in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to fight. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So then they said, I don't want to go to the hole. So towards, like, towards stop the end. Stop playing. Yeah, stop it's playing. Before. Basketball, if you don't know guys, if you play, especially if you play with a motherfucker like me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you got a high temper, you're going to fight. My yeah, for sure, fight for sure. me, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we was damn about to fight when we yeah, first met. Exactly, but, so but I was on, you. but I was on that bracelet at that time. Like I was that, that saved that whole encounter. You know what I'm but that, that that's true though. I'm a person. If you play ball, I'm gonna antagonize you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm do everything. Yeah. Not only I'm gonna kill you in ball, I'm gonna kill your spirit. I'm gonna talk yeah. crazy to you. And it's whatever. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that do that in basketball. So it's like yeah. it's, it's a part of the game. And there's yeah. a few motherfuckers you're gonna run into that do that shit no matter sure. where you at. So I'm yeah. a, I'm one of them guys. So I understand why Slim hate motherfuckers that do that shit because it ain't no joke. Yeah. But I always was the person that. And to a nigga people. that's in prison, that's just purely disrespectful. You don't disrespectful. play with people like that. Yeah, you know it's, what I'm it's a disrespectful game to a high level, ignorant motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a couple you're gonna run into your life. So it's, and he ain't gonna go for it. Yeah, and it's so. crazy how how like how the outside world and people in prison got two totally different uh, yep. compasses on how they handle shit. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Like you call a nigga, you hooping with a nigga in prison, you say, bitch ass nigga, yeah, straight nigga. to violence. Oh, straight to violence. Straight to violence. Straight to violence. You don't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just more like niggas ain't even really in there talking shit, like nope. crazy disrespectful. It's just they talking shit, but in a I don't know if this is a it's nice a way to say it, though, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's like just, uh, yeah, it's a way to do it in basketball. A hundred percent. But it could it could change like in, instantly, depending, right. especially on the temperament of the game for sure. And the point, nigga, you yep, beat yep, me yep. Or some and shit, what's nigga. all on the line? We yeah, got yeah, commissary yeah. on the oh, line. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got it's just yeah, yeah. different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, but I, I played towards the end in there. I, even towards the end in there, I played in a, a tournament in there too. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah, in prison, a three on three little tournament towards the end. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sharpen so, up the skills a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Trying so to now like you about to go, it. you ride to walk into the coach office, it's the son and B- yeah, father. Bear, yeah, Barry introduced me to him. So I'm like, hey, I just pull up in there and say, hey, man, I heard y'all had a team. I'm trying to play. Yeah, I'm here. He I'm the like, nigga y'all looking for. He was like, yeah, I'm trying to play. I'm like, yeah. yeah. He was like, you asked me where I played in high school. I said, I ain't played high school. Oh, shit. So okay. I ain't, but I ain't said I just got out of you prison. Ain't, you ain't tell him the prison? Not right you away. You show him your anchor? And no, 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 no. Okay. I had pants. So I, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. But it was a little bulge. But if you ain't paying attention, you ain't going to see it. You ain't going to see it. So, uh, and then you seven foot motherfucker. They ain't going, they can't really go. <laughs> for sure. So the next thing they were like, yeah, okay, well, uh, all right, fuck it. Um, and because Barry was like, yeah, it's my man's. He was like, all right, uh, we got practice or like uh, open gym or something this time. Just come. That was trash as fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I was trash. You know, uh, but in my last little who ride before uh getting out of prison, I kind of sharpened it up. I could dunk at that point. Before prison, I couldn't dunk. That's crazy. Nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, it was just, come on, bro. Running up trying to t- grab the rim tight. Barely. Yeah, yeah. But grab you know, it then. I full, grabbed it. Full fucking tall though. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was embarrassing. But while I was in prison, you know, you get doing some burpees, some pull-ups, some dips. You get no to you get to doing the double sets. Everybody know in prison, no, you get the little dominoes. You do 20, 20, 20, 20 pull-ups, 20 dips, 20 yeah. push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you're going you gonna to find a way to get in that mook. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I, when I first up. got to prison, I couldn't even do one dip, nigga, like a dip. Like, dips you know, is tough though. Dips is yeah. Dips and pull ups ain't no. I'm seeing niggas busting them bitches out of the yard. I said, damn, these motherfuckers strong. They're a motherfucker. I, 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 I didn't want to go over there and get on the dips, nigga. Try and beat nigga. Shit. Right. Now nah, throw these bitches though. Yeah, but right. yeah, it was like that. So, but by the time I came home, like I was dunking and shit and like that, but not like crazy yet though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm kind of filling out still. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm 22. Right? For sure. And I'm still getting my coordination. I was like a giraffe when they first born type with the oh yeah big legs. Angry legs. Yeah yeah yeah. Bambi so, moves. Yeah, I wasn't coordinated at all. You know what I'm saying? Um. So then I came, but one. Thing I knew I had, and this is what I had over niggas. Niggas cannot work me. I got too much dog. That's what it was. One of the ones. That's what it was. So yeah, and that what you knew. You knew your determination, your work ethic was gonna overcome. It. I bullied all them niggas out there. So you played a few times. You bullied me around. They let me on the team. And then how, yeah, so he just came to you when he come to you. You asked him, or you just like, you know what? We like you. We gonna put you on the team. How oh no, go? he told me that day. That first like, day. That first day. Damn. First day. Off the rip. Yeah, we want you. Oh, for real? Yeah, 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 for Damn, sure. But dope. you know, one thing I could always do from the beginning, I could kind of shoot a little bit, though, always from the beginning. Right. Yeah, I was like, that was probably like a thing for
studying that's crazy. due that's diligence. That's crazy. Because, yeah. yeah, straight from prison, you get your scholarship, and then you just walk into their motherfucker and you play on the team. That's hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand that part of your process, though. For sure. When you first told me that, that's why I tell my mothers all the time. Am like, I just a D3 Juco? Yeah, it's, it's the bottom of the bottom. No, oh, yeah. Don't I'm get in, no I'm more in, bottom. I'm somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you escalated, though. But you I felt like I was obsessive. It was, and as soon as I put, I remember when I first put that for jersey sure. on for the first official game. Yep. Nigga, you couldn't tell me nothing. I could have I dropped dead right there and I was a success. Shoosh! It's no scholarship, no nothing. It just, I'm, nigga, what? Legendary. Yeah, don't man. matter. You, was, yeah. you, you came from nothing to something. For sure. But you went to that Juco, then you went to a, another one, right? I, after that, so I'm going to tell you how cold this was, right? After that, uh, I ended up, um, my nigga Day Day, shout out to Day Day, David Hicks, third. You know what I'm saying? It's mine, Twyla, and his pops, sister, all that good shit, and my dog, E. Keezy. Um, but we um, actually, uh, I played that whole year. I ended up, like, when I first came home, I was like, man, I got to start. And this is how I actually found out about 43 Hoops Basketball Academy. Shout out to them. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Rod Killer. Oh, yeah. And Legacy Hoops, because he got his new shit going, too. That's hard. Legendary as fuck. I was just on FaceTime one other day talking about it. He but, just um, called me, too, actually. Yeah, yeah. Back. Shout out to Killer, man. Y'all y'all know Killer One of the most viral videos ever. Yeah, y'all know Killer as my, when I gave my boss a ride my Hellcat. That's okay. him. Oh, you know what I'm so, saying? So funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilarious. And he was not playing. But the thing was, is when I first At came all. home, I'm like, man. Cause all I got is like street homies, street niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit like that. Some some homies died when I was in prison. Some never coming home from prison. So it was like I needed to start surrounding people, surrounding myself with people that's like my brother, Derry. But the thing was is when I come home, Derry, my brother Derry is a freshman. He's going into his freshman year of uh, high school when I left for prison. And then when I came home, he's in his freshman year of uh, college, right? So right. he's out in Marshall, Minnesota, which is far as fuck, right? So when I came home, he was still in college, you know what I'm saying? But I can't wait for him to come home because he ain't going to be home that much when he comes. So I got to start surrounding myself around people that's like like him, you know what I'm saying? Good people. So you, like good people that's like like good, uh, and they ain't on no bullshit, and uh, they ain't carrying toting pistols no more. Like he just, and he's locked in on his sports shit, yeah. right? So I ended up, uh, where the fuck did I go? I was on my motorcycle one day. And um, I came home, I could done right through the door, too. I, the Chevy on 22. Uh -huh. Talk to him, champ. The Caddy on 22. Legendary. Talk to him, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get a picture. I don't know if we can find him. I can insert him in there, man. But I was like, come dumb. on, champ. First year to do the book, man. You know what I'm saying? Saved up big bread when I was in prison. Tight. Came home with the full understanding. Tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tight. Yeah. Yeah, tight. tight. You know what I'm saying? I came through like that for sure. Uh -huh. And at that level, you could, I felt like I was at this level back then. Of I course. came out of prison, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I started, I, don't, I can't remember how. Ah, oh, you know what's crazy? What? This is funny. So remember, like, you know, you know niggas that run with in the streets and all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know, all the niggas from the north side. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to mention no gangs and all that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was over there by the spur over there on the low end by the Y, mm -hmm. and uh, I seen, uh, 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 you know, niggas knew, knew, and then later on that night, right. I went out, and then I ended up running, I was with my oldest brother, Kevin, and I was, uh, I seen Schmitty, Brandon Schmith. Shout out to Brandon Schmidt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to B. Schmidt, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I seen him downtown. He was like, what's up, man? I just heard you just got out. Woo, woo. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, man? And he was like, uh, you know, I, we started talking at prison talk because a lot of his homies that he used to be affiliated around, with, yes, sir. they was all in prison with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, yeah. Come on, man. You know, we was talking that talk. And then next you know, um, he was like, I was like, yeah, now I'm out here, nigga, I'm on some hooping shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, you hooping? Yeah, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some buckets, man. <laughs> Next time he was like, he was like, oh, man, well, come up to uh, 43 Hoops. 43 Hoops. And he was like, I was like, where that at? He was like, St. Hopkins. So I was like, all right. So I was like, uh, what, send me the address. So he texted me the address or something, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, you're going to be up there this time, whatever. So I ended up going up there. And then uh, that was off the first rip. That's when I uh, met Day Day, that first day. I, I came up there on my motorcycle, boom. Yeah, I'm a R1 acting dumb. I actually yeah. ended up giving that away to one of my subscribers. Oh, you did? That was yep. legendary. That sure. was dope. You know what I'm saying? Legendary. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I know you remember who it was, their name? No, nah, I can't remember off the top of my head, man, but shout out to him, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but then uh, I actually was up there, and then Day Day, I was in the gym, and then Day Day came on his motorcycle. Yeah. And then he came up to me, and he was just hella friendly. At that time, I wasn't used to niggas like that. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Came up to me and was like, uh, he was like, man, he must have seen my helmet and was like, hey, you got a bike, woo, woo let's go riding together, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't be, never really rode with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was usually just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the gay biker gang type. No, nah, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah, usually I'm trying to ride with someone on the back of that thing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I ain't right. trying to ride with niggas. I'm trying to ride with someone on the back of that motherfucker. Like, squeeze me, baby. Yeah, so at that Hold time, you know what I'm saying? Me, baby. Yeah, changed man now, though. You know what I'm saying? Changed man. Love it, Slim. Go subscribe. Love it, Slim. Go subscribe. What the, what the other buddy? Shout out to my wife, Jazz. Shout out to my baby. You know what I'm saying? And uh, next, you know, from there, uh, I, I was like, he was like, man, come back up tomorrow. We do this all the time. So Day Day, so B. Smitty is how I found out about 43 Hoops. Right. 
Day Day is what kept me coming back to 43 Hoops. You see okay. what I'm saying? Be, yeah. And then, then that's how I met all my other niggas, like EK, PJ, you know, Killer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and then that's how I got integrated into the whole 43 Hoops system. And that's how I met you, mm -hmm. obviously. You know what I'm saying? I actually ended up meeting this nigga while we was in the whole... Well, I, I'm Damn! All, yeah, while the braces. Y'all got to go watch that story. We got that up on your channel and my channel, I think. Yeah, it's a historical story. Yeah, man. yeah, for sure. But we almost got no fight first time we met, long story mm -hmm. short. You know what I'm saying? I tried to sub this nigga out. He tried to roast me. And then at this time, I had I had came Black home. Man. Yeah, I had came home. I was, long story short, I was dealing with a lot of, a lot of uh, violent... Um, Tendencies, you know yep. what I'm saying? And uh, there was a lot of close times where I was almost going back to prison. There's a lot of times where I definitely should have, but God, through the grace of God, I was able to make it through it and all that other stuff. And um, yeah, man, it was a blessing, you know. But uh, I, my little brother, the one I've been telling y'all about, this dude ain't trying to get a game. He's like, man, I, it, you know, it's crazy. Then he looked away from me. I was about to hit that nigga in the back of his head so motherfucking hard. You know what I'm saying? But then what happened was, my, I looked over as soon as he did it, and I just vowed to my little brother. I told him, I said, uh, I had just um, got into a fight with a nigga at the U. Right. And uh, it was brutal, you know what I'm saying? And I'm on parole, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, I'm on this bracelet, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just getting this thing off. And my brother, like, uh, and I, you know, I understand I'm just getting passes and all this stuff at this time. So when I'm getting passes to do all this stuff at this time, like, it's, it's real interactions and real problems happening. Mm -hmm. and, and it's all due to me, too. I'm going to keep it real with you. I just wasn't taking note. I had zero tolerance for everything and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, next time I look over, my brother went organic, did that shit. And my brother, I, I, I just told him, like, he had just got really mad at me, snapped on me. He's like, nigga, you gonna end up going back to prison, nigga? You gonna leave me again? He went crazy on me. And right, it made me, feel, made me feel fucking horrible. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, so mind you, this is like two days later, not even, nigga. I tell, tell this nigga, because hey, everybody not trying to sub this nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying not to sub this nigga out. Like, he ain't, God, gonna, God. Like, he ain't gonna come out the game. No, nigga, you gonna, come, one. you gonna come out this motherfucking game, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The God. And at this time, I'm full confrontation. I want nigga, all oh, niggas ain't trying to sub this nigga out. Yeah, nigga, well, let's get, a, let's have a problem then, nigga. Then What's up, Slim? When the sub nigga, I tapped him on the shoulder. He was leaning over like this. <laughs> tapped him on the shoulder. Hey, man, you out, man. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Damn. he looked at me and he was like, would you, you ain't even say that all day. I was no, like, man, I ain't getting out, man. Like, I, no, he didn't do all that. No, no, no he didn't. No, he didn't. Gargoyle. He, was like, he was like, man, he looked at me. And I don't even think you said that. He was just like, man, come on, man. Like, said, something I, like no, that. I was like, get somebody else. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Then next time, he just looked away. Yeah. And like, like he just, like, understand, nigga. Damn. Niggas, niggas that was in prison, we shout out my nigga Ray. You know what I'm saying? Other niggas that know we from the Joey. You know Ray. Hey, yeah, Joey, a lot of niggas. You know what I'm Joey. saying? Yeah, Joey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, nigga, next thing you know. Sure. The last nigga that turned his motherfucking back on me like that when he was in the joint, nigga, he got paused and beat up and his motherfucking head split open. You know what I'm saying? And this is all facts. You can ask any niggas that I was in prison with. And uh, next thing I went to the hole again, nigga. That was right. the last nigga that turned his motherfucking head on me like that. And then here go this nigga did the same Damn. shit. Same shit to me. You know what, uh, what I'm saying? Uh, I'm buck I look over at my brother on the sidelines. My brother like, no, no. So I'm like, oh. I'm looking at my child like, this motherfucker, boy, this nigga is crazy. Nigga, I just said, man, Damn. So I'm walking off the court hot. I feel he, like a nigga just hold me. I was all in the middle of the court, too, like where you jump ball at. He walked over Facts. the tap. He came in to burn and all that. I looked at him, man, go to somebody <laughs> else, man. <laughs> oh, I'm hot. So I'm over there, pop sweating. I'm over there walking to my brother. He just said, bro, this is a basketball nigga, bro. He, back, yeah. he kept telling me that. He's like, bro, this is just basketball nigga. said, not meaning nothing like that. And I should yeah. say I said, hey, D-boy, nigga, I'm hot. <laughs> nigga, I'm over there sitting down like this. I'm looking at this nigga. I said. I never get that because he's like, <laughs> usually I do shit to people like that. It's over with, nigga, because niggas like, no, he don't know me. I don't know him. But nigga, I usually do shit like niggas know what it is. Like, and it was whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm playing, going down the court, you know, because I'm still, my surroundings, I'm on it all the time. I know I kind of roasted him. So, I'm looking, I'm hooping. And I look. I'm hot. Nigga just staring at me, running up and down the court. <laughs> So I'm like, man, this nigga's I asked PJ. I said, PJ, what's up with that nigga? He said, man, that nigga's got a prison, man. That nigga type crazy. I said, for real? I said, okay, shit, all right. He's like, no, nah, I'm telling you, man, that nigga a little different, man. So just watch your back. I'm like, man, come on, man. Ain't no nigga that crazy. That nigga was that crazy. He was staring at me. I'm like, the fuck? So yeah. when I finally come out of the game, I'm like three seats behind me. He's still just looking at me. I'm like, this nigga, man, come on, man. Pay attention to this nigga. But I didn't know all this was going on. Yeah. I just knew this nigga was staring at me crazy the entire time. Like, this nigga wild. I was fighting with myself so hard. It did my brother over there the whole time. Dude, Corey, bro, it's all good, bro. Like, just relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is basketball, niggas. You got to understand there was times when me and my brother got into, like, like on full, like, mm -hmm. nigga, like, I'm, I'm hitting niggas on the court. It's yeah. like, my shout out to my nigga, James, JP, he know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There was no talking. There's no nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I came home, and it was like, I, just, I had some issues, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And all them cell fights and all that shit, nigga, it was like, yeah, it was up every time. Yeah. It was no, well, then you got to be quick. You know Straight what I'm saying? Violence. Get it off when you get up, up, right, just like that
basketball players are and shit. I had to really evolve to that and learn that shit and learn how to be like a student athlete and learn to do homework. I had to learn all this stuff. Yeah, you know what broke. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, 100%. So, you know, to kind of even get back from that, though. So it's like you got to think when I'm fully playing basketball, like this is like a real this is a real problem for me. Like I'm not mm -hmm. understanding how to be around basketball people like that. So I needed people like EK. I needed people like Day Day. I needed examples like PJ. I needed people around me that did this stuff and then like knew me and then like and then obviously a lot of shit didn't happen with me and a lot of me and my bros where it's like they didn't see me in action for real. Yep. So it's like I needed they needed to know like I got problems and shout out to Day Day Ma, she helped me significantly with that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like letting me know like, hey, and then that was the first black family that I seen really put together with the and mom like and, dad, yep. and then really pushing each other and evolve and they weren't like bloods and crisps with each other because that's kind of like where I come from with right. the family demographic. So yeah, it's like some money and shit too real money real understanding and like real inviting and real nice yeah. and they ain't being diabolical with you they not setting you up for the okie doke like yeah. they just genuinely want to help you and they really good just family. love you good fucking family shout out to Twyla uh, uh, Big David Lil David Most you know definitely. what I'm saying Ricky everybody uh, Daviana all of them you know what I'm saying and um, even their mom and pops and their grandmas and all that. Yeah, and the whole aunties, uncles, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they they really, like, took a nigga under the umbrella. And, like, and I was really being around them and all these different basketball players. And I started to learn, like, oh, these niggas just be talking like this. And some of these niggas just be, oh, so he not really tough. He just be, he don't really mean that shit. And I ain't right. talking about you. But, yeah, you, know, know. you know what I'm saying? These niggas don't really mean no harm with none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I had to learn that shit. But before well, I overall, learned it. yeah, most niggas just talk like that. They yeah, know. before I learned it, though, it was like, nigga, I was it's having shocking. a shocking. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. You gotta think, you know, anybody ever in prison doing it. So, and if it happened, it was instantly up. There's no talking, right. there's no nothing. And if you don't want to get it in the cell, you get it right here on the flag. Damn right. They can go you. like that. We can all go to the hole. Let's go pack up these bins and we can go sit down for oh, a while. For sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. So, <laughs> right. you come home, you gotta think it doesn't matter if it's truly who I am or not truly who I am, right? The thing is, if you do something for four years, I'm and conditioned you are, to it. I'm Especially as a kid through your for adolescence. Sure. I grew up in there. Right. You know, I think I went in there a boy and I came out a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, before I thought I was, like, a hustler before prison, but I really wasn't, like, I perfected everything when I was in prison. That's crazy. Everything was perfected, and I grew up in that motherfucker. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you got to think, whatever bad habits and tendencies I had, I, I was, and obviously, they weren't, I didn't get no closure on them by the time I came home, because I was really dealing with some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, shout out to all the people that really stood in my corner and really helped me get through all that. You Most know what I'm saying? Definitely. And helped me be the man I am today. Yeah, Every so, last person played a vital role that I'm yeah, mentioning. So that's uh, yeah, that's how we met. We met for on sure. the court, you know what I'm saying? Put a sub in for me. I was doing being my motherfucker. Damn! So, just, for uh, sure. Yeah, we have to just brush them all like, man, come on, man, get somebody else. Man, I'm out here killing, man. I'm tired, but nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm scoring. I need to get 40, nigga. Facts. I'm trying to kill. So, um, But Day Day's, but Day -Day's mom and his dad, though, I know we kind of went way off track with it, right. but Day -Day's, Day Day's mom, dad, and uh, Day Day. So when I got done with that first year, what I did was, I was like, man, I need somebody to make me a highlight because I'm going to just, I'm going to self-promote myself. Right. They, they had a guy who made highlights. So then I made a highlight, my whole self. I went through all my DVDs and all Because the coach didn't fuck with me. Mind you, I didn't start one game, no nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, nigga. Don't like you was cold. Nigga, no, but the, the, no, 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 no. Shout out, shout out to Henry. R.I.P. to him. He played over me. You know right. what I'm saying? He dead now. You know what I'm saying? But rest in peace. But even he would say to me, like, bro, there's no way I should be playing over you. Okay, got you, you. So let's get some understanding, bro. So the number one savage and dog on the team. You got to understand, nobody on that whole team went nowhere, nigga. Okay. Shout talk out to, to all of them. Gargoyle. Shout talk out to, to every him. last one of them. Talk to him, But none of them fuck with me, nigga. I'm the only one. I went D1. One of them I went D1 out that whole school. Nobody went nowhere, did nothing. Sure. Not even the niggas I played against on that whole uh, fucking Legendary. conference of that school. You see what I'm saying? So don't like, get it fucked up don't or do screwed. Don't do it. You see what I'm saying? Because I'll go there. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. My natural self is a humble person. You see what I'm saying? But no, no, nigga, I was that nigga for sure. I was okay. definitely, where were they? Where they one of the ones. Well, sure. One billion percent. Yeah, and they yeah. didn't treat me accordingly either. Okay. Uh, but it's okay. I'm going to blow and through every the, wall. Juggernaut, the, nigga. Was that the first year? That was the first you year. You were there for one year. One year. Okay. Yeah, but then they didn't start me not nothing. But they times. gave you the chance, though, brother. You but I ain't going to lie, though. I'm not going to just play victim either, though. Yeah, you, you came out of prison, brother. I came out of prison. I beat a few teammates up. I was Come on that on, type of time. Man. You know what I'm saying? I got kicked off the team, put on the team. Yeah, but niggas was playing with me. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like it was like that, nigga. And the niggas who I fought on that team, they know who it so is. So it's like a reason why they didn't play you, too. Nah, but yeah, yes, 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 yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Right. I'm, I'm being, I'm acting too dumb. Okay, yeah, right. Because I went through a lot of stuff. But, but here's too. the thing. But here's the thing, though. I, at the time, I was looking at it like no, because if we keep it, I'm thinking like nigga. Oh, of course. If, it's, at the time. if we if we keeping it to strictly basketball, 
they ain't never strictly basketball. See, but I had to learn that though. Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna play victim. I, right. Yeah, I, yeah. Squabble got down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they looked at me like, damn, this nigga old OD aggressive. For sure. Got problems. For sure. It's my first year home. Yeah. Had to battle through a lot. Got kicked off the team a couple of times. Got put back on the team. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had some meetings on the team. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, had that's to talk why. with the players. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. You know, but yeah, that's what that's why. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's always gonna be politics and like chemistry and. But I took it personal control. as if y'all ain't playing me because y'all ain't thinking I ain't of course, good. Of you course. know what I'm saying? I went through the same thing, so, so I, I ain't like understand. that. You know what I'm saying? I had, you, I had I had I had 20 point game, 20 point rebounds type don't understanding. Matter. They probably look gas at on that probably be, but but uh, some of them probably like, like a twelve. You say it's probably 20. like a twelve and yeah, twelve. That, but it felt yeah, like twenty. I felt yeah. like I had twenty and twenty. You damn right. Yeah, I gotta put a little stank a little on it. Twelve and five. But I definitely had games where I had over twenty rebounds for sure. Oh shit, three, big round. Three, four, five blocks type. All that. Yeah, yeah. The dog. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I definitely had that for sure. Legendary. Come on, man. But that then uh, you gotta think though. So I had, I knew I had all that in the chamber. So even the coach didn't fuck with me because he got understand. This I took really personal. They told me that they said after I uh, beat up one of the teammates. Uh, they they call me in the office or whatever, and then they're like, "Hey man, we got to let you go off the team or whatever." And then I said, "I said, hey man." So I'm breaking down the understanding because I ain't beat. I listen, listen, listen. I ain't put pause on them at the come at, on in practice. I put pause on. Them. We all trying to have like a little bro, little get together type. Go out and just have some team camaraderie. Nigga got drunk and started talking crazy to me. You see what I'm saying? Relax. Well, I thought it was crazy. Yeah, you but, can't do that, brother. But then next you know, so no matter if so, it's on the premises so, or not, you can't fight your teammates. It's still well, man, listen, a teammate. We, man, we scrabble down, and got down tell. right there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And then he quit. He quit. I want him all. He quit. You know what I'm saying? And he know who he is. I ain't even gonna mention his name. You know what I'm saying? He quit. You still got a problem with him? No, I ain't got no problem with him. The jig is up. I did what I had to do. I ain't got no problem with him. Okay, it's you all peace. Yeah, I'd be like that too when I heard I whoop a nigga something like, nigga, I'm cool. I won. Yeah, I ain't tripping about that. But then next you know, um. Yeah, somehow I got back to the coach. The told on me. Of course, nigga. See what I'm saying? Man. You know what? The jig is up. The jig is up. Nigga gonna tell. But then next thing you know, they call me in the office and they tell me about this. And then next thing you know, they said, uh, they was like, man, so what's your plans with basketball? I said, I'm gonna go D1, man. They laughed at me. Both of them. Of course they laughed. Son and father laughed at me. In your face, I too. I said, all right, well, cool. With the Joker move. So I said, God bless you. I only want to, because you know you could be there two years. I, I want to elevate anyway. Yeah, for two years, yeah. So I said, uh, I told Daddy, I said, I tell Daddy's mom, I tell Daddy, I said, uh, I said, yeah, man, I'm trying to get up. I'm trying to go, you know, go to any school, big time schools. You know, yeah, Daddy was D1. He went LIU and all that, you yeah. know, which was in the same conference. It's crazy as uh, uh, Central Connecticut, Central Connecticut CCSU. Yeah. So That's in crazy. NEC, right? Y'all played each other, right? No, 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 no. Because you know he wait, you know what I'm saying? He did things the right way. He was in he was in college at 18. I'm tripping. I was in prison at 18. So you I'm played, four years behind. Him. Who did you play? It was somebody in college. Yeah, that we knew. Yeah, I don't know. Nah. We'll probably get. We'll probably figure it out. No, as we I'm go. tripping. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking because you was on the team with uh, Frankie, right? Yeah, 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 Frankie, yep. At uh, at uh, Coppin. There it go. Oh, that's what it was. But, I yeah. remember you was with somebody as you knew that. Yeah, so we're going to get to that one in a second. That's a whole but, different story. Yeah, but yeah. Then, yeah, for sure. But then next you know, what happened was is I went from uh, uh, that meeting, got back to it. Then next thing you know, from there, I uh, went and I uh, had Day Day Guy make me a highlight. And I went through all my DVDs and made time stamped them and made my own highlight with Day Day's homeboy. Oh, that's right? Hard. And then me and Twyla... Uh, Day Day's mom, we went to the post office. She helped me mail out all these. It was like 60 DVDs, bro. I sent them to every motherfucking D1 Juco in the country. Putting that work in. What? Went crazy. And then next thing you know, from there, only two hit me back. Miami Dade Community College and San Jose Community College. San Jose. And then I was talking to both, and I kept them, I gave them both transparency, right? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. And we gave them both transparency. I told them all both I was on parole, because you got to understand, I got to transfer my parole wherever I go. Right. So then next thing you know, um, Miami Day. once I told him that, that, it was a black coach, too. He stopped fucking with me. But then San Jose... Uh, Percy Carr, shout out to Percy Carr. I was just in the Bay recently, tried seeing him when I was there. He got Alzheimer's and dementia right now, so I wanted to see him. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, changed my life though. Gave me a shot. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, uh, wanted to help a young black man. You know, Legendary. Yeah, for sure. And he gave me a shot. Uh, uh, transferred my parole out to California. Everything. You know what I'm saying? And then Top my, of the move. My medicine, all that. He buy my medicine. You know what I'm saying? He was doing. I mean, he, he ain't gonna give him trouble now. He buy my medicine, paying my rent. Big. You know what I'm saying? It was legendary, dog. And you know, Big. JUCO colleges in California don't give scholarships. Facts. So he, when he paying for all this, bro, it's like it's love. I said, oh shit, okay, I got me. He, he, one of them niggas. He, he, he really don't get it. One of them ones or Mr. Screw. Don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then next thing you know, uh, I transferred my parole there, went there, <laughs> and I killed there too. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Killed there too. That's crazy. I remember um, that's my best favorite college year, bro. I remember when I was first coming out of school and I never had no schools to go to, and um, when I went to my daughter's. Um, Bill College, mm -hmm. in uh, Southern Indiana. I was out there playing I with them. I remember you telling me about they, that. They were trying to get me to go to Tallahassee Community College and San Jose Community College, which yep. is cr
blue and yellow, Excuse something me. like that. Something purple and yellow. Something yeah, like yeah. Something Jaguars. Remember, yeah, I remember those colors. Like, damn, yep. they look. I like that yeah, jersey. Yeah, good memory, bro. Yeah, because I was looking. I remember because they showed me the team. Because yep. I was like, nigga, I need to go somewhere. I had nowhere to go. I'm like, damn, I like that. Those colors look good. In San Jose, I was thinking about it. it was San Jose, yeah. Tallahassee. Did I end up going to the one? Crazy. Atlanta. But yeah, that's crazy. You never crazy. told me that until now. I, I know. Just, I, just I just thought about it. I just remember that. Yeah, or, I just uh, thought about just it. Just was told that now. Yeah, it's crazy. I just thought about it. Even when I after JUCO, I was going to go to San Jose State or it was Arizona State. Yeah, chose Arizona State. Yep. And you got to think, even after that though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I went there. I was killing, but I had problems there, too. Put oh, I know. On, I'll put some hands on some teammates at that school, too. Yeah, a lot of hands was put on motherfuckers. And, yeah, I mean, college, in, in practice, some out of practice. You know what I'm saying? My dog Frankie witnessed all this, so shout out to yeah. my dog Frankie. And we got the legendary, you know, knifing story there. You know yeah, 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 yeah. We, we already told that, though. Yeah, we did. You, did, yeah, gotta, you go, gotta go back. We'll put the link below in the description of that Yeah, for story. sure, for sure. Yeah, but um, uh, my dog Frankie. He you know stabbed some people, people. No, just <laughs> relax, relax. One of the one. Oh, no! Really? <laughs> Come on, champ. We stab a couple niggas. No, we don't. Listen, no, we're not glorifying none of this. You know what I'm saying? I had real mental problems at this point. For you know what I'm sure. saying? I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, I need Don't help. get it fucked up you know or Mr. Screw. You know what I'm saying? I had a real hard time evolving. You know what I'm saying? Super, super so hard. So whenever I'm saying this, there's no glorification to it nah, at all. That, it wasn't no game. It was serious. Because after it happened, Frankie knew every time I put my hands on somebody, I get depressed after Like, damn, I was. Because I, I felt like I was trying not to do it. Yeah, what was then, that? Like, big goddamn uh, my, for mice and man type moment. Oh yeah, yeah. I know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. two brothers, right? Yeah, yeah I remember that. Quit yeah. doing, goddamn. Yeah. But I couldn't kept help. killing something. Couldn't, right. couldn't help myself, bro. You I'm know what I'm saying? Help him. So I tell Frankie like I do, like I do now. Stay way out the way. Right. But then I'm with Frankie, and then he's younger. So then I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never gonna let nobody ever play with Frankie or nothing with him. Close. Yeah. Whether it's with me, you definitely ain't playing with me, but you definitely ain't playing with my people. Right. So every time I end up putting my hands on somebody, Frankie knows like full transparency. Like I was always getting depressed after because it was like imagine trying something and then you like next time I'm in this situation I'm a I'm, I'm gonna do this it. I'm gonna do that and then next time you do it and you get in that situation and then you completely fail yourself. That was really depressing. That, hurts. that, that hurts. was really depressing. Especially so, you know where you come from and how far you came. Yep. You know the bush you was in. And I'm still on parole. And I'm, I'm in California, dog. So I actually caught a case in California. Then I, up, I caught a case in California. Then I ended up beating the case in California. This all while I'm in college. Crazy. Second year. That's why I say through the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? I was able to find my way. And that's and that's two years out of college. And, and two years. Cause not yeah, because straight from that first school to your, as soon as you got out, the first school, then now you in San Jose. Within the first two years. And you acting that dumb the entire time, fighting, getting all the... Still ain't learning, bro. God damn. Having a boy, hard you, time. Boy, that motherfucking CEO was almost right. Your motherfucker, yeah, you was sure. a lucky No, he nigga, was boy. right, nigga. But if it went through the grace of God, bro, I'm back. Oh, big back, too. You see what I'm saying? Especially when I, that last When I caught that case in California, though, that's when I was like, it's over. The, yeah, it's over. With. Where, 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 where that motherfucker at, huh? <laughs> the jig is up. Oh, when I caught that case, up. I thought the jig was all the way up. You know what I'm saying? I said, damn, I fucked up bad this time. Come on, champ. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Shout out to my dog Frankie and his people, man. They got that case they dropped. Damn it up you know what I'm saying? And uh, and dude changed his testimony. And I mean, shout out to him too, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Cause Relax. He didn't have to do it, but he did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Frankie got him to do that. So I got to, because nigga, I'll still be in that bitch. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's I, a yeah, fact. I just, and the time that he was trying to give it, nigga. Yeah, and then like the story just keeps evolving. It's just crazy because it goes back to saying what we were saying in the beginning about people, you know, putting that work in, believing yeah. it, and actually. You know, doing the due diligence, Facts. not just waiting for something to come to you. If you were sure. sitting in that jail waiting for a college to come and get you, it never would happen. Yep. If you were sitting in that jail waiting for somebody to fill out the application for you, it never would happen. Facts. If you didn't get your ass up and go to that school, if you didn't get your ass up and do that, find that school, find the one with the the, the, the less wins, fill out them yep. applications and go there, nigga, you never would have happened. Facts. So you got to go do it. You got to go to it and get through it, man. Yeah, you want it all, you got to go through it all. Yeah, like it's and just... I went through it all, man. Right, and that's just the beginning stages, man. Yep. So, But even then, though, uh, after that, though, I went from San Jose, right? right, And, and shout out to Percy for again for that, man, because, you know, he, uh, he no matter if I got kicked off team, he always got me back on. So you see, this was a reoccurring thing. Oh, for you sure. You see what I'm saying? So I was really dealing with that shit. And then, um, but he gave me a shot, though. He never reported me to my P.O., Never nothing. Came to my PO meeting with me every day. We drove in this green slug bug, went down there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dallas, too. That was one of the coaches. I really liked him a lot, too. Um, but, yeah, he uh, we he would take me to my parole meetings every month. Never snitched on me. Never nothing, bro. And I was going through some real turmoil. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, from there, the next thing you know, I went to Coppin. And then I had a red shirt there that year. Didn't play. And then from Coppin and Baltimore. Shout out to Coppin State, Baltimore. You know, uh, shout out to all the people out there in Baltimore. And then from there, I went to Connecticut, CCSU. And then... They did what they did too, you know what I'm saying? But oh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't think I I put no hands on oh, my feet. Oh no, no, I had some close. Yeah, yeah, I had some close. <laughs> Maybe you about to fight the coach all type. Baltimore water. too, I had problems too. Yeah,
that story alone, when you should sit there and tell me that shit, we had 43 hoops, and you explaining that part. Yeah. I thought it was some of the most legendary shit I've ever seen and heard in my life. Like, how the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, he was three when I when I come back in the summers. Three, yep, that's three, when we became cool. That's when we became cool. Because why? Because I did not like that nigga yeah, after like, that shit. Yeah, yeah, three, for a long time. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a long time. For a long, we never But I didn't really. like him for like, no, none of you hating ass motherfuckers that be hating on him don't like him. Right, I didn't right. like him because he played with me. Facts. It wasn't because he had confidence. It wasn't because of how he dressed. It wasn't because of what he do, how he says it. What he, no, it was because he played with me. Yeah, no question. That's it. But go ahead. And yeah, and then like like I said, we told the story before, but yeah, like when he used to come back from college, you know what I'm saying? We were just the two hardest workers in the gym. Yeah. And I'm in the gym working out. Doing what I do, and I look, he in there working out. He got his meals. He got a little insurers, drinking, getting yeah. bigger. So I'm just seeing him every day. As I'm working, he working. I'm like, man, we the only two niggas working out. We the only two niggas staying. He getting his Solitary, shots up. too. Yeah, we, yes, by ourselves. One of us in there, just yeah. me and him running across each other. And I finally said something to him. I'm like, man, I see you working out, man. You getting big and all he that, did. man. I looked down. I'm, look that's what's up. Like, you know what I'm, I'm like, damn, you, you, you had, where you at now? That's when I yeah. finally start asking you questions. I'm, yeah. like, like, I'm at Kyle I'm like, nigga, you at D1? And that that, that shocked me because I remember this, this is a present nigga. And then he, he also was there when nobody was trying to pick me on the team when I first came home from prison. <laughs> oh, you see oh what I'm saying? God. So I went from being on some real shit, full transparency. I went from nobody wanted to pick me when I got there because I ain't, I ain't know how to run plays. I ain't know how to set a screen. I ain't no, know how to do shit. Loop. And it's like a program we had there. Like if yeah. you don't know the persons or the teams, you be totally discombobulated. It's almost yeah. impossible. You got to play the politic game. Yeah, because they know I'm not with everybody the play with each other, know each other. It's like a it's a crazy yeah. sequence how them teams sure. run there. So it's hard. Them to niggas like a fraternity. Yep, and it's gonna be the same people playing yeah. the same way all the time, and it's and it's hard because niggas yeah. all cabal. It's five fast. Every speed. nigga in there done done something with yep. the basketball it's on five, some high levels. It's fast speed, high octane, and it's aggression. It's crazy. It's no joke. Yeah. So it's hard to penetrate that. So I used to be watching like, damn, we'd be playing. He'd be trying to, hey, I'm in for you. And they're like, nah, man. I remember the first time, the, the first time they tried to pick me. I said I had next. You, you had next, yeah, and they didn't want to give it to me. Nigga, I got next. And they just got on the court, picked this team. Yeah, remember that shit. And they didn't want to pass you the ball. I was like, nigga, remember there? you were sitting on the sideline. Remember you was like, you was like, hey, uh, uh, Cece said something to me. It was like, I was like, nigga, I, nigga, this whole motherfucker ain't a nigga in this bitch that can fuck with me. Nigga, yeah. I went crazy. Yeah, he went. He went. Nuts. This is all my first home. He I went said, nuts. I said, nigga, I got next. Nigga, ain't no nigga in this. He was like, nigga, ain't nobody gonna have sympathy for. I said, nigga, ain't no nigga in this bitch can fuck, fuck with me. me. Yeah, you I see what I'm saying? Like I went crazy. crazy. I'm snapping on everybody in this motherfucker, man. What's happening? You yeah, because you were sitting there for so long, it made you so mad. Oh, I was hot. And I was ready to say that too. Like, nigga, I was I've ready to squabble anything and everything in yeah. that nigga, motherfucker. I've been sitting on this yeah. joint trying to get in and let me in. Now yeah. somebody got, man, fuck all this shit, man. man we blow this whole bitch up. What's yeah. happening? Fact, because they took it there. I I understood it too. I was sitting like, hey, nigga, let that nigga play, man. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? I get it. I was just looking. I was just looking. That's what Killer came out. Killer came out. Look, look, look. That's the word I said. I think my boss right there. Okay, he came out. He comes out. He said, "Hey, hey, 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 killer, killer, killer." Yep. That's how he talk. Killer, hey, yo, come out, come out, let me say, yep. come, come on, man, come. It's all good, killer. Listen, yep. it was like, uh, come on, I said, I said, hey, no, nah, man, fuck these niggas, man, straight up. So he like, Playing. man, listen, it's all good, it's all good. Come out at me. Went to the office, chopped it up, whatever. Then from there, I like killer though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that nigga. I understand we got similar stories and shit. Oh, for sure. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, ah, I fucked with him. He was like, listen, man, come up here. And niggas wasn't trying to work me out, wasn't trying to do shit. Nothing. He was like, he's like, I'll work you out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We could do this. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Don't even, don't do nothing, man. Don't just don't please. Just yeah. all I ask is yeah. don't put your hands on nobody. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And I said. All right, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then next thing from there, yeah, yeah. But that was. Yeah, then you finally get to playing. So I worked my way rotation. into that door. Yeah. And then I went from nobody wanting to pick a nigga to everybody arguing for me to be on their team. Right, right. A necessity. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. full on. No, no, no. Niggas arguing. I got something. No, nah, nigga. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I had to work my way up to that motherfucking level. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So when three seeing me, he's seeing all that progression. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And then he's seeing me, and then he's saying something, and then that's where you was continuing. Yeah, yeah. So that, it just took a little. It took a long time actually, because I, I don't fuck with nigga this to death. Right, I yeah, would yeah, never yeah. care. Like I don't even think about giving a fuck. Like it, it ain't even a for sure. My, I ain't even going on my way not to say nothing. I ain't even thinking about a nigga. <laughs> like, broke the hardware. talking about yeah, the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, nigga, that's the last of my concerns. But like I yeah. said, if I see a motherfucker that's coming from where I come from, and then putting the extras in. I appreciate that. I always appreciate a grinder. I always appreciate sure. a motherfucker that come up. Like I said, I love to see a nigga win. That's just something because it always was hard for me. So if someone else coming up and winning, I think it's dope, and I'm going to salute it. So when I saw I'm like, damn, this nigga at D1. I'm seeing the shorts, the purple little shorts. Kind of stuff. I'm like, nigga, that's D1. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I see you working out and shit, getting motherfucking bigger. Like, damn, you at D1. What school you at? Like, kind of like, damn, yes, your school? You go D1. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn. 
So that shit shocked me because I was like, that's hard. You know yeah, what I mean? My dog Frankie Johnson, man. Yeah, that was hard. So but then on, we was just we just corresponded little by little. You know what I'm saying? And over yeah. the time we started working camps. Yeah, together we became friends. And then every yeah. time he was he'd be talking to me and shit. Like every time, like even when I went to Connecticut, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Like he was always telling me, like, when I came home and during the summers and shit, because there's so much extracurricular stories y'all so have much, no ideas so about. Much. You know what I'm so saying? Much, yeah. None. Yeah. And then when I come in, he sees certain things, he'd be like, damn nigga, boy, you gotta write a book, nigga. He's the most Got legendary to. nigga ever. Yeah. He was always saying shit like yeah, that. Yeah, because I understand details of just life and all that shit, nigga, from prison doing it. I'm like, yeah. nigga, this shit is top level. That nigga graduate. I'm like, nigga, graduating? Yeah. That's hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never nigga, graduate you from got high school. to write a book, nigga. Yeah, yeah he was Ain't saying nobody do no then. shit like this. Yeah. This is before YouTube, man. I used to, used to sit there, we used to work them camps, nigga, sitting there and talk for hours at the camp, man. It's yeah. about everything in life, and it's just, man. To see that shit when you graduate, and that's when all the recipro things, bro. And that's when all the reciprocation happened. Where I'm banging the CDs, I'm coming to his concerts, I'm doing all that shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm buying the merch. I'm doing that because it it was so. It was such a slow, long process before we became cool. It was years for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. that's just years of process. Like I'm seeing every time I see them. Yeah, we ain't talked for years. Nigga, right by each other every day. Not a word to each other. It took a long time, nigga. Like right before he graduated, nigga. So you got that was at least two years. Yep, yep, for sure. Right at the end, like you know what I'm saying. So. Yep, two years. Two years from the time I came home. Yep. Because yep. it, it was two years. Yeah, it was two years. Yep, two yep, years from the time I came years. home from the time that happened. Yep, that's yep. crazy. Yep, for sure. And uh, yeah, then from then on, we was, then we started working camps. Then we was inseparable, nigga. Every camp, he there, I'm there, we do everywhere, nigga. We yeah, we just, doing everything together. Everything then we together. talking that talk after. after. We, we acting dumb, so it was like. And then they, they, we was working, they was trying to separate niggas, so we wouldn't be talking. Have two, can't have two of yous out here, because <laughs> I was the first ignorant nigga there. So it was like, hey, man, three of you. You can't have two wild niggas together all the goddamn time. Y'all niggas both retarded. For sure. How y'all gonna be at the same time? It is what it is. Is, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so we facts. gotta work together. They gotta facts, facts. work it. Yeah, and every camp, every day, we was always together from dinner on, nigga. Yeah, and then boom. Nigga. But then from there, uh, from uh, just to kind of pick up from there. So from then, um, copping. Then I had other D1 offers, and then um, then next time I went to all, all my visits and everything like that. And then I ultimately ended up picking CCSU, bitch asses. I should never even went there. Central but, Connecticut. But I went. I can't regret it though because that's where I met my dog Mo, one of my best friends. Everything's uh, happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, my dog Kyle. Like I met a lot of legendary people there. Fast. I met a lot, a lot, a lot of dope motherfuckers that I fuck with for life type there. So it was like everything happened exactly how it's supposed to. And that's to. crazy that I've been to all them places. Yep, crazy as fuck. Been in El Canet where your college yep, was at. Yep, because we went there on the meet and greet. Yeah, when the meet and greet there, and we went to San Jose. Yep, yep. That's crazy 100%, as hell. And yep. we did it in that parking lot of your school. Yep, 100%. Wow. Crazy. But I ain't fuck with them either, man. Well, the old fucking boy. Don't get me started with them. But then, yeah, my last senior year, they did me dirty. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They, they did me did. dirty all because of nigga background type. It was oh, yeah, the last minute, that was crazy. Bogus hell. And you got to understand how much I prepped for that year. And then to get and then to him to do me like that the last year. They don't year. be knowing, bro. They don't that know was story. crazy. At the extra breadery and all that on the what? <laughs> and that's why I said you gotta always know how to. Shoosh! Yeah, you always gotta know how to reverse pivot without traveling, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when that happened, you gotta think from prison. I had to pivot, right? When I caught that case in the Bay, I had to pivot, right? Then right? next thing you know, I went to Connecticut, had to pivot, and then I started YouTube, and then I had to pivot doing YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's why I took that break that I took. So it's like, that's why I always tell y'all, y'all you gotta know how to tear some shit down to rebuild. In order for me, in order for you, anybody to evolve, you gotta really let go of your old stuff and kill that person in order to build up the new person. You yeah, know you what I'm saying? To. You can't build this person and build another person. No, this is not, man. Especially listen. if he's straight dis- dis- disintegrated, like he's just a terrible motherfucker. He got to go. Yeah, you know 100%. I mean? and, I, and what I was on and, and, and dealing with them problems of being violent and all that shit, like I had to really let that shit go because it was hurting the people closest to me. I was, right. I was really uh, fucking up shit and burning bridges with the people closest to me. And um, just thank God for the people that that was meant to be with me, that never gave up on me, that kept fucking with me, no Most matter how, how how much patience they had to show. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just really appreciate that. And through the grace of God, he put them people strategically in my life on purpose to be able to, for me to get to this point, to be able to evolve up until this level. You know what I'm saying? So that was that's just real huge, man. So make sure y'all tear down whatever bad parts of you in order to rebuild the best parts of you. You know what I'm saying? It counts. Yeah, you got to do that, man. It but counts. yeah, that's crazy. We wasn't even supposed to be. We would end up going crazy about my whole shit. I know. That's why I wanted to go there. I want yeah, to give yeah, that. For you sure. know, since I know, I'm going to give you a story. How oh, you I did sign my overseas contract, too. I forgot about that. Even after that, I signed my overseas contract, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full Still completion. trying to take a nigga down. Then work my way up. Got an Asian shout out to Joe. Give him you know the whole what I'm saying? Shit. And then next thing you know, from there, blew my fucking Top of the out, six hours before the flight. Crazy. With my dog PJ with me. 
PJ type set me up with that one too. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, what the hell? And then we'll get into the next this next saga after that because that's one little then that's before What's that we get saga? to the, the next saga then that's the YouTube journey came right after that. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's just one piece. You know what I mean? That we was crazy. up to that point right there when he blew that knee out, bang. Yeah. Then the epiphany yeah, comes. Yeah, Joshua comes below too, because I know y'all want to see them prison stories. Y'all want to hear them. Them prison stories are legendary. We yeah, all yeah, got those. Three love three I, love I, I love stories. I love I just, I mean Jazz mom do too. Yeah, I don't Shout I won't say that I love prison, but it's like of course, I, like, I always watched them shits when I was a kid. I was scared yeah. straights and then the prison TV shows and movies and shit. Yeah. They're legendary, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It's just, because uh, I get it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they could have been there easily. So I, I empathize and understand, like, that lifestyle, yeah, man. Yeah. It's and terrible. there's also the storyteller, and you say it's funny as fuck. And, and, and nothing better than prison stories. You know what I'm saying? They're the best. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, the, it's the bare bones of life. Right. So it's just so oh, real. It's, it's bone yeah. gristle for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's just, nigga, it is what yeah. it is. Niggas gonna kill you for a Twinkie, and that Twinkie is serious. You think, man, over food, nigga, the food is everything in prison. Well, hundred percent. The fuck is you talking about? Like yeah, it ain't yeah. nothing. Niggas, it's, it's crazy. King. Like how Cash is King out here. That shit food. Yeah, yeah, soda, yeah. juice, nigga, is up. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> niggas be proud, like laundry detergent, soap, man. It's whatever. Ramen. About. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. In, in in that prison culture, mm -hmm. like it's not not far fetched for niggas. Hey, nigga had ten my soups. Nigga, I went on. You killed him. Yeah, okay, shit. They yeah, get it. Like nigga, sure. hey, nigga deserve to get shanked up. Nigga yeah. took ten soups. <laughs> nigga, that nigga up out of yeah, here. Yeah. Like outside, you like nigga, that's a dollar, bro. You did yeah, what? It's crazy. But in there, nigga, <laughs> nigga gonna die. Shout out to my little brother, my youngest brother, Robert Barrett. Oh, you know you're what right. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He in uh, prison right now. You know what I'm saying? And, um, God damn. Yeah, I send him pictures of everything we doing all the time. Oh, got you know to, because you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It means everything. You know what I'm saying? He's well taken care of and trust and believe that. Yeah, you know shout out to my, my, my little brother, too, man. Yeah. You know oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, yeah. Shout out to Deuce Hound, too, for he sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. Shit. But uh, the thing is, is, we was just talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, one of the blessings that. Like, this is why I say always appreciate your testimony, but you got to appreciate the test in order to get your testimony. Right. And the reason why is because you never know who your testimony is going to help, right? When Most people definitely. hear this and see this. That's like, why you got to be real as possible. A hundred percent. You got to, you got, it's, it's, it's hard to be transparent, right? Right. And it's an underrated thing to be able to be transparent with the world, it's a, right? It's, it's a supreme gift. For gift sure. Gift to help people. Absolutely. Most people ain't going to do that. So because help them. when I was in prison, you got to understand, you know what I'm saying, uh, three... Me and two of my other brothers have been in prison. Right. You see what I'm saying? There's only five of us, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So you, let's get some understanding. You know what I mean? So I was, I'm was i the oldest one that went to prison. So you know what I'm saying? I was I, That's not a good thing to do. But you know, since I was in there, I could help my little brothers when they had to navigate through there. Most you definitely. You see what I'm saying? So when he's having one of them days and he's depressed and sad, because I always call him one of them days, it'd be like that sometimes in there. So when he calls... I'm able to talk him off that ledge sometimes. I'm able to stop him from whooping on niggas. I'm able to stop him from doing X, Y, and Z, beating up a CO and all this shit. I'm able to stop him with that. You know what I'm saying? Because, and he's even, if I'm telling y'all how I am, he's even worse than me. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, he's even worse than me. Like, it's like, his temper is way out of this world. You know what I'm saying? So, to be able to help him and be able to give him a beacon of hope to sit there and say, not only does he know somebody that did it, but it's his older brother yeah. that did it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm able to help him and navigate through that too as well and help him with his mental because I, I had to learn by trial and error. He can learn by my mistakes. Yeah, you know and then you can add to his, his bid by helping him because you know what you would have wanted when you was in there. For so sure. the conversations or in the compensation, that shit go a long way to what? pictures and all that shit, nigga. You know 100%. what you would have wanted, so let me give it to him. For sure, for sure. So it's, it's a fucked up thing, but yeah. it's actually a blessing at the same yeah, time. Yeah, he on, he on the short end of his. It's been about, by the time he get home, it'll be 10 years flat. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. the thing is, though, is when it, when it's, he's on his last little hoorah right now, his last little few years, right. you know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's right about to be under the two MOOC soon. Um, but oh, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my brother's been there uh, 15 now. See what I'm saying? Like scout, yeah. So it's, it's for real. And then you get them kind of numbers, you know what went down. We don't even got to emphasize, <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? We ain't even got to emphasize that, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, I can't wait to get home and be able to help him get through, you know, whatever it is he got to get through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope. So, yeah, but you got, but the long story short, though, people, you got to be able to help yourself before other people can help you. Most and definitely. my brother ain't in a position where he's mentally even trying to help himself. There's nothing I could do to help him. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? God bless so, y'all got to help yourselves before other people can help y'all. But I do like that our, our transparency and our testimony right. can can give help people, to, yeah, it can help others. Yeah. But you got to be like, this is why I say, like, y'all see the finished product. You see three being a finished product. You see me now. We're not even finished, but in comparison to where we were, it seems like we made it but we haven't we're still climbing right definitely but the thing is though is through the climb you got to appreciate the climb while you're going through the climb yeah everybody just want to enjoy the top yeah. it ain't gonna be enjoyable if you ain't enjoying every step Facts. every little peak every little valley yep that counts 100%. so when you get to the top it takes is just so much more glory at the top Facts. you get up there and scream i remember when
the mountain in uh, Phoenix. Okay. Camelback Mountain. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. And nigga, it was hot. Yeah, I remember It was hard. <laughs> Every couple of little motherfucking yeah. hundred feet, we see Almost somebody coming down. Tight. Yeah, nigga, how far? They be like, uh, you about three, four. Three, fours. Yeah. You think you halfway. <laughs> you go some more. Uh, how far am I? Can't Ooh. even see the top. Yeah, you about three, four. Three, four still? God damn. damn. You know what I'm saying? Then you finally get there, nigga, I was yelling. I was serious. Oh, yeah. I was for yeah. real when I made it yeah. to the top. Nigga, that shit was tough. Because you made it to the summit. And I, yeah, I, I embraced every step of that way. Yeah. Like, nigga, I don't, don't forget every step. And I got to yeah. the top, nigga, was like, yeah. Facts. Nigga, I did something. Yep. Yeah. 100%. I didn't just want to teleport right to the top. Nope, you had it to go count the same. It wouldn't. So it's just like life. You just man. go up there and stick your flag on top, of it, but you know you, you ain't earned that, man. Like niggas went to the moon. Y'all ain't go to the moon. You lying, boy? <laughs> yeah, it is. Neil Armstrong. That is what one is up for debate, ain't it? Yeah, big debate. I don't yeah. think because why you ain't been back, you should have a gold goddamn mountain on that motherfucker. By the time then, if y'all make it one time, back in the fifties, whatever the fuck y'all is. Twenty twenty two. Ain't nobody been back since. Yeah, man. Three of them to God, but hey, man, that was a slim story, yeah, man. Sure. Slim transition from goddamn, episode twenty eight. Yeah, from the penitentiary, man, to the goddamn. Uh, what we gonna say from penitentiary to the uh, pinnacle of greatness, man. Yeah, that's what man. my dog did, man. Y'all hear that shit? And then Believe wait till y'all see what everything you got coming next. We ain't even touch on the YouTube. Oh, that's we ain't even touch on everything that's coming after YouTube. Yeah, that's, yeah, that ain't nothing. That's or just during. beginning. It's just the seed, man. We haven't got to the roots or the tree Facts. yet, man. Is y'all okay. crazy, man? But shout shout out to everybody standing, out there that's watching this in prison right now, man. And you hold using your this head, as a, man. Yeah, hold your head, man. And uh, man, I'm glad I could just pave the way to give y'all some light in a dark place, man. Most you definitely, man. And that way, we all need. We all need something like that, man. So. We appreciate we could be here for y'all guys, man. So 100%. episode 27, top 28. of the move. 28? Uh, that's 28. 28? Is this 28? Hey, come on, bro. Anderson Peterson. Come on. <laughs> I said that nigga about that's the box. Your Slow ass nigga. I fucked this baby mama show did. <laughs> oh, shit. Legendary. Well, One of the ones. That's a wrap for 28. Damn. Before you get activated. Black man. Gargoyle. <laughs> Choose. The yeah. guard. What's up, Slim? What Big happening? white man move. And if y'all want to hear some of the prison stories, drop some comments below, and then we'll uh, stories. yeah we'll oblige y'all. Yeah, if y'all All want right? some cartel street stories, rob niggas, shoot niggas, hey, let me know. I got they they got to give them them stories. Y'all got to want to hear them. I got a legendary. Ones. Remember, no glorification behind it though. None. It was bullshit. I forgive myself for the glory. For sure. Now I got it. Taking big leaps of faith, no doubts about it. Made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Every time she see me, nigga, she just cracks a smile. I made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Every time she see me, she just cracks a smile.